So over the past week or so, I've been talking about Adobe a lot, mainly because of the whole TOS update and where they're forcing you to agree to new terms, where pretty much they were saying like, hey, we're going to probably use your shit for machine learning, AI generative content, all of that. And then Adobe was like, oh, y'all are really overreacting about this. We didn't actually going to, we weren't going to actually do that. Our terms were for other things. It was it was for things that weren't related to training on your content. No, we, we're good. We're good people. But in reality, as I've said in what two videos now, this is going to be the third video now. But in all these videos, as I said before, Adobe is a company that you cannot trust. They are a company that you should never trust. They are a corporation. Their goal is to make as much money as possible and get the middle finger to the consumers. That is never going to change. And it's always going to be that way. And so you already saw the title of this video. Yes, Adobe is being sued. And I'm going to be honest, I had to sit there and I took the glasses off and then I put them back on. I was like, oh, sh oh shit, really? <laughs> Adobe's being sued? And then on top of it by the U.S. fucking government? That's a pretty big W right there. Whether or not they win, who knows? But it's a W regardless because fuck Adobe. They don't deserve to have the monopoly that they do, even though let's be real here i know people are gonna be like oh well there's davinci resolve and then you have all these other tools that you can use uh, no uh, let's just be real here all right let's get back to reality here adobe is the industry standard whether people like it or not and that's just how it is you're going to do professional work you're going to work in a professional environment there's going to be times where you're going to have to have psd files or you're going to sit there and have someone say hey i got a premiere file i need you to go sit there and edit this or do whatever and after effects uh premiere pro photoshop all the other apps it's just going to happen sure you might have the people on the off wall say hey i'm working on i'm working on the venti resolve <laughs> let's go you know so like that but hey for the most part you're gonna have motherfuckers saying i use premiere pro and that's it again industry standard it is what it is but that's neither here nor there today we're talking about adobe being sued for their subscription prices in case you don't know you can't actually own adobe products no more it's not like the good old days where the cs6 collection the master collection is none of that no more you actually have to pay for a license that you can only more or less lease out so once you're let's say you pay for 30 days one month that's it you don't have access to your software no more and there's no option to actually buy it because adobe wants you connected to the cloud 24 7 and not actually have possession of anything the internet is so fucking sad because now almost no company will allow you to own anything they want you to have to be connected to a server and then check your license and make sure that you're paying for a, le a legitimate copy and all the other bullshit even though they like to sit there and make an excuse of, oh, well, actually, it's so that we can provide timely updates and quality of life balance. It, it, shut the fuck up. No, it's not. No, you just want to have total control over your customer's product. That's it. That's all it really is. So it says right here, US sues Adobe for deceiving subscriptions that are too hard to cancel. Now, this shouldn't be a surprise to anybody, especially if you've already messed with Adobe a little bit or just online in general, any type of subscription service. A lot of these companies, another reason why they like subscription services is they hope that you will never remember that that you're subscribed to said service. They think that, oh, it's like free trials. You sit there and get a free trial. They're like, all right, hey, put your credit card in. Or you don't have to pay for anything right now, but once your free trial is up, you're automatically going to be charged. And they hope that you're going to forget that you subscribe to something because you didn't like the service or whatever the case might be. And then they charge you and they get you. And then you're like, fuck, motherfuckers got me. And then you either got to do a chargeback or whatever the case might be. Same thing for Adobe and any other company that does subscription-based services. They like that. They want you to forget that you subscribe to them because it's reoccurring money. They want reoccurring money because they know it's guaranteed that they're always going to keep getting more flowing in versus a one-time purchase. And the chance that you're wondering why they like subscriptions, that's the reason why. They like to know that they have reoccurring money coming in every single month. And that's a sure way to <laughs> guarantee it is by having people have to subscribe to a service and pay for it every single month. So it says right here, the U.S. government is suing Adobe for allegedly hiding expensive fees and making it difficult to cancel a subscription. In a complaint filed on Monday, which we'll take a look at in a second, the Department of Justice claims that Adobe has harmed consumers by enrolling them in a default most lucrative subscription plan without clearly disclosing important plan terms. The lawsuit alleges that Adobe hides the terms of its annual paid monthly plan in the fine print and behind optional text boxes and hyperlinks. In doing so, the company fails to properly disclose the early termination fee incurred upon cancellation that can amount to hundreds of dollars, the complaint says. This is actually very true. I've seen a lot of posts on Reddit and just in general of people complaining about whenever they want to cancel a subscription fee because you're under the impression i am too when i actually looked at subscription prices i thought oh 
all right, whatever, you know, you pay your subscription price, and if you don't want to renew, then you just cancel it, and that's it. No, it don't work that way. Adobe charges you a fee for canceling your plans, but they don't make that very known. They make it, ah, shush, hush, hush. Hey, hey, you find out when you sit there and you fuck up. That's when you find out. But besides that, Adobe ain't going to tell you, which, again, is very scummy and greedy. So it says right here in the lawsuit, Adobe fails to adequately disclose to consumers that by signing up for the annual paid monthly subscription plan, APM plan, they are agreeing to a year-long commitment and a hefty early termination fee, ETA that can amount to hundreds of dollars. Adobe clearly discloses the ETF only when subscribers attempt to cancel, turning the uh, stealth ETF into a powerful reaction tool that redacted by trapping consumers and subscriptions they no longer want. So essentially what it means is, let's say you wanted to sign up for Adobe right now. I, I Or let's say me, right? I sit there and I go and sign up, but I don't see anything that says that if I want to cancel my plan early, that I'm going to face a, a pretty large sum of money for canceling my fee early. That's essentially what it's saying. So if you were to sit there and buy it today, you were under the, uh, the guise that, oh, well, you know, if I maybe I don't like Adobe or whatever, I can just sit there and cancel it, you know, early on and I'll be fine. Something that you could actually surprisingly, Amazon gets a fucking W right here for this. But if you were to get Amazon Prime and then let's say that you wanted to cancel that plan, they sit there and let you cancel it right on the spot on that exact day. If you actually want to cancel it, you can cancel it on that exact day and then they reimburse you for whatever is left of your time of, of your plan. That's pretty fucking cool. That's a big ass W. That's what Adobe should be. But nope, Adobe don't work that way. They're like, oh, you want to cancel your plan early? Ah, oh, that's cool. All right, well, we're going to charge you a fuckload of money, even though they really shouldn't be that way. And then on top of that, again, it should be something that is disclosed right off the bat before you sign up for any plan and put your money in. It shouldn't be something that is something that you only find out the second that you actually want to cancel the plan after you are giving your money. And that's the reason why they already got your money. So they're like, oh, fuck this. We already got you. <laughs> and guess what? If you try and cancel, we already got you fucked there, too, because you have agreed to terms that we made clearly pretty hidden so that you wouldn't actually know about. It's scummy all around. It says right here, when customers do attempt to cancel, the DOJ alleges that Adobe requires them to go through an onerous and complicated cancellation process that involves navigating through multiple web pages and pop ups and that it allegedly ambushes customers with an early termination fee, which may discourage them from canceling. Customers encounter similar obstacles when attempting to cancel their subscriptions over the phone or via live chat, the DOJ alleges. The, co uh, the complaint claims subscribers have had their calls or chats either be dropped or disconnected and have had to re-explain their reason for calling when they reconnect. The lawsuit alleges that these practices broke federal laws designed to protect consumers. But it says right here, Adobe's unlawful enrollment flows. Paragraphs 36 to 52 provides an example of illustrator enrollment flow for consumers enrolling in a free trial for a APM plan. In this example of flow, consumers who select a free trial button for a product are directed to additional pages, including pages for plan selection, email entry, and payment entry. So right here is the example they provided to show you the signup process for getting the Adobe Creative Cloud all app subscription. So it says seven days free trial and then 50 Four ninety nine a month, which is already a fuckload of money. I'm gonna be real to you. That's a fuckload of money to use Adobe apps, but it's neither here nor there. So then from there, it says pick a subscription that you can have annual, annual prepaid, or monthly. And then it says fees applies if you cancel after 14 days. And then continuing on, they explain saying the element at each plan that Adobe displays most prominently is a price with the APM plan showing the lowest dollar amount. Adobe frequently also pre-selects the APM plan as a default, which of course they would, because if people sit there and see a cheap plan, they say, oh, it's only that much for this month. All right, cool. I'll pay for that real quick. I'll use it for a month and that's a wrap and call it a day. But then they get fucked in the ass because then they get charged by Adobe for trying to cancel their plan. It continues by saying an enrollment flow example when the bottom of each plan select box includes a, a less prominent line of text followed by a tooltip icon. Uh, this one in particular says the APM plan box states fees apply if you cancel after 14 days. Consumers navigating the enrollment flow do not see the additional text contained in the tooltip, a small pop-up box, which is even less prominent font unless they hover over the icon. Customers using a touchscreen device must tap the uh, icon to view the tooltip. Consumers who access the icon for the APM plan next example flow reveal a tooltip that reads, if you cancel after 14 days, your service will continue until the end of the month's billing period and you will be charged a early termination fee. So pretty much what they're saying right here is the fact that it's really scummy that this is not more prominent this is something that you think which should should be really out there like hey if you uh you cancel your shit you're gonna you're gonna be charged some fees it should be something that is pretty much like right out there should be known and then the fact that this is hidden if you're on mobile is another thing that they're saying is scummy because if you're on a mobile device then you have to actually click on the icon to see more information regarding this but if you don't then 
you won't actually really know anything about it. And so if you're just kind of blindly going through it, which if you really want to, right, you can sit there and say it's consumer negligence. They should do their due diligence and actually look through everything and read everything properly. But at the same time, it shouldn't be this scummy. It shouldn't be this egregious and trying to get as much money out of you as possible. It should be pretty simple and pretty clear right up front, big bold letters. Hey, we're going to charge you a fuckload of money if you try and cancel on us. That's what it should be. So right here, they show you the payment screen and then they show right here, it, they go in more in depth. It says enrollment flow example three provides an example of the page in Adobe's enrollment flows that direct consumers to enter their payment information. This page also provides information about the APM's plans terms, but in small inconspicuous font beneath that entry form, which Adobe knows many consumers do not notice or read. In this example above, this text states, by clicking the green subscribe, you agree after your trial ends, you will be charged US subscription price plus tax monthly at the end of your one year term, your subscription will automatically renew monthly until you cancel. Price subject to change. Cancel before your trial ends and you won't be charged. No annual commitment required after the first year. Cancel anytime via Adobe account or customer support. Then for those that are wondering if you haven't picked up yet why this is bad, it says this fine print paragraph includes the first and only mentioned across the entire flow of annual commitment. Even here, the commitment is not explicitly linked to any ETF or other charge. The reference to canceling to avoid a fee does not mention the early termination fee by name or state its amount, which is the really scummy fucked up part of this. A lot of people are going to see this shit right here where you see annual paid monthly, they're going to sit there and just see that and they're not, they're not going to know anything else. They're not going to know that this is a commitment for sure. And then this is the only part where you'll see more information regarding it. But even then, it doesn't tell you anything. It just says if you cancel after 14 days, your service will continue until the end of the month billing period and you'll be charged an early termination fee. I meant to include that earlier. But yes, even though they show this part fee applies if you cancel after 14 days, you don't even get the full description unless you click on that pop-up box, which if they really wanted to, you got all this empty ass space. You can sit there and put it there if you really want to but they don't want to because that's more information to, con to the consumer and that's more power to the consumer this is a really uh, scummy and greedy fucked up uh, subscription service that adobe has set up that is meant to try and get as much money out of you as possible and make it so that if you ever want to quit that you are in the wrong and they're going to try and get their money back because they're going to be like hey we told you so not our fault you didn't read not our fault that we made it hard for you to read you're fucking stupid you're a dummy how would you use your eyes and actually read that's adobe in a nutshell so hopefully this lawsuit goes through and the, they actually win because fuck adobe this is all scummy ass shit dog and again i'll put the uh i'll put the lawsuit in the description below if you want to check it out and read it for yourself it's a lot of redacted information but i think it's worth checking out at least just so you get an understanding of the situation and what's going on but yeah i hope adobe actually loses this this is a big w for the government just for even attempting this to begin with because everyone knows that just like Ticketmaster, adobe is scummy as well too they all, all they really care about is just trying to fuck over the consumer and not giving you actual good value for what you pay for they just want to take your money and then and maybe if you're lucky maybe you might find some value out of the products or services that they provide you but more times than not it always comes with some type of underlying uh secret hidden fees or something else that's going to come up from behind and just fuck you over anyways you made this far into the video consider giving a like subscribe to the channel let me comment below what you think have a great day yeah